from the studio along to Annick where I'm at the Alegate for an open mic afternoon. Great way to spend a Sunday afternoon and I've got the founder Ian with me today of this event. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, a few other guys locally have tried to get it off the ground but I just said look people need somewhere to play and you know uh, get it kind of it's, 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 it's different playing at home you know but you're not playing to anybody you're just playing the songs and they're not going anywhere whereas you've got like a, 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 a you know a captive audience shall we say that's, that, that is good because people can come out of the house on a Sunday what we're doing we're not doing very much I'll come out, go out for a drink and watch watch the guys perform which is and, and the great thing about it is that it's totally totally free Running pubs, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. It's 24-7. Oh, it You've got to love it, and we do. We do love it, it's fabulous. We love the people, we love, we love the beer, we love the gin, we love everything about it. It's, you know. get to hear many stories as well from different oh, people. Yes. <laughs> I did get up once, because there was a guy playing, and um, his string broke, and he gets really anxious really quickly, so I just thought I need to just deflect attention from him. <laughs> so I just sung Happy Birthday to whoever's birthday it was. I said, somebody's got a birthday today, so let's just sing Happy Birthday to you. We, we were playing in a collective together, uh, but not really playing at the same time. You know, not play, you know we played separate, separate sets. Things, our own stuff. Uh, and then we started singing together and realised the harmonies really worked, and our voices worked together. I, David so, play. I can't get harmonised yeah. David, so I, I would join with him and just... Yeah, take it from there. Really. I'm nearly 60. It's just like, oh, maybe I need to do 60 things before I'm 60. But then the same thing that I haven't done, and I've only got a couple of years now before I'm 60, so I probably won't. You've arrived, you've made it now. So maybe I need to do 70 things before I'm 70. <laughs> I played the, guitar, the violin at school, and then fortunately, there was uh, my German teacher uh, had a guitar lesson you know, after school, and I had this appalling guitar. But uh, that sort of got the bug, and you know, I learned a little bit, and then you get a better guitar. And uh, yeah, I've just been playing all, all my life, and sort of just playing. And I love finger picking. That's that's my little bug. I like I like sort of picking out the tunes and uh, George Harrison things. And <laughs> <laughs> We're not rock and roll now. We used to be. Oh, yeah. we're still rock and roll. We're still rock and roll. It, no, we love it. We absolutely. It's great fun. It. It's great fun. Yeah. It gives you a buzz. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> having a lovely Sunday afternoon in Annick at the Alegate where it's an open mic afternoon. So I play a bit of the John Ball and they have a, a fortnightly session there which we go we go we go along to there and I, I play Irish 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 but Boran which is the Irish the round drum which oh, people play yeah. I play that as well. Have you got uh, that with you today? No, not today. Oh, no, shame. no, I, no. I haven't got that with me today. But I played that as my first instrument. But then I learned to play ukulele and Did started playing music when I was about forty. I started playing music right. and I then started with the music scene and then we moved up here. Um, it will be a week. It will be about a week to, a week today I, I, I retired from I walked out of my job after 23 years working in the factory but now we've seen things popping up all over the place the Tanner's arms was always a, an open mic night that we always went to yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. on a, every last Friday that's of the month Friday. but now we have this place on a Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the Annick brewery where the Annick tap where we every other Friday they have an acoustic night so it's really you know, you can just feel there's lots of opportunities to play around the around the county. Well, I started open mics because Rothbury had a virtual open mic, mm -hmm. 
where you, you could record yourself and and then somebody on a Friday night would then make it you know, put them all together and that was like a, on a, a YouTube or a, a, a open mic and then when it all opened up they roughly had a real open mic night right. so I went to that and that was the first time I'd ever performed public which was a bit terrifying. It was a slow start I mean I myself yeah. personally I missed the first I would say four or five open mics at the Tanners when it started again I just didn't feel comfortable mm -hmm. going out yeah. mm -hmm. but when you do you think it's okay yeah. It's okay, and it gives you the confidence to go out and play again. And I, I managed to finish off an album, at least, yes, and release yeah, yeah. it in, in October last year. Um, so it's my second kind of album that I released. Um, Excellent. Oh, uh, do, you to, do you want to tell us what it's called? Look, it's, called it's called Too Many Moving Parts. Yeah. Too Many Moving Parts. Which yeah. we sang, that was when you were, you were recording. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's yeah. one yeah. song off there. Yeah. Where, yeah. Can we, yeah. where can we hear this? It's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's yeah, everywhere. Spotify's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. And I have some physical Spotify. CDs. Yeah. I must listen to it. <laughs> so one of my 50 things before I'm 50, one of my 50 things to do before I'm 50 is to be on a TV show. Will this count as being on a TV show? Well, <laughs> Excellent. Another one I can tick off then. Brilliant. Yay! <laughs> George Harrison, Paul McCartney. <laughs> you get the drift. Uh, Eric Clapton, uh, James Taylor. That's another one I should have been, I should be playing this. Afternoon. James Taylor. Uh, they're fantastic for finger picking. Um, and uh, Dylan, Donovan, all sort of, all things that you can, that you can hear the guitar. Right, and uh, and it's not amplified out of its mind. You know, it's uh, sort of a, a nice, well, perfect for somewhere like here. Your, your ear guitar and ear voice. Sort of seventies and eighties is my my my, and the Elvis thing comes from a friend of mine who who used to, you know, there's thousands of guys in the world that impersonate Elvis, including myself, and. Um, you know, I think I think it wasn't that much of an Elvis fan, and we met this guy on holiday. His name was Dave Vincent, in Ibiza. And uh, if you're watching, Dave, I give you a mention. Um, and that was me. I was I was I was hooked on Elvis. What the way that Elvis moved, the way that Elvis sang, the way that you know, I was, wow, I didn't want to do this. You know, it's good. It looks good. You know. Had a fantastic afternoon today here at the Alegate in Annick with some great performances and a fantastic audience. But we're going to head up to Wooler now.